Now I'd like to show you how to train the OCR step of Vision Assistant. I'm going to begin by collecting some images of printed text using the webcam attached to my desktop computer. You can also access the webcam or webcams that are connected to your NIMIREO using this technique. On my desktop computer I will use the LifeCam Studio and I'm going to dial down my resolution just a bit and use 1280 by 720. Now the OCRA extended font, this is a standard font that you can find in Microsoft Word. This works very nicely. It's intended for OCR purposes. I'll capture that image as my training set and then capture some images of sample prices printed using this font. And I'm particularly interested in looking at the effects of rotation. That is the ability of the OCR reader to handle this text when it appears at different angles. Now the OCR reader needs a grayscale image. So I will extract the luminance plane as the means to convert the color image to grayscale. Then find the OCR step and click new character set file to begin the training process. Now I've printed out these five repetitions of each character. This is useful for the training purposes to give similar but not identical sets of each character. Get a little bit better training this way. Now initially it sees all the characters but it doesn't know what they are. Let me begin by trying train single character. So this one is selected first. I know this is a dollar sign, so I type in dollar sign as the correct string. And now you see that it recognizes all the remaining dollar signs properly. I'm now dialing up character number six, which is highlighted in yellow. That's the first period. I indicate period as the correct string, hit train, and you'll notice that all the remaining periods are now correctly defined. Now you can train multiple characters at once. This goes a little bit quicker. Let me show you how to do this. The correct string is supposed to be five dollar signs, five periods, five zeros, etc., all the way up to five nines. Click train and now you see that text red properly shows each of these five repetitions of each character. So check that over, make sure that it's not misreading any character, and then we're good to go. Click Save, and then give a name for the character set file. And I'll choose something that's based on the specific font that I was using for this training. All right, let's give this a try. Again, we're still looking at our training set, so we expect everything to work pretty, pretty well. And in particular, looking right here at the text actually read. So we can just try some different ROIs. And uh, everything looks great. There's some additional read options that you might want to consider. And let's try some different images. This is the one that has the price labels. $3.47. Looks good. Let's try 815. That worked. 313 and 25 cents. All oh, that looks fine. Okay, let's now try the rotation and see what happens. Again, you can either look at the box that I'm highlighting in the lower left, or you can look right on screen where it interprets each character for you. And as the rotation angle becomes more extreme, we start running into problems. The eight and the one was fine. The dollar sign and the five are not being read properly. Here you see that it's trying to latch on to the dollar sign and the three as a single character. Now, as the rotation becomes even more extreme, we see that it really doesn't work at all. When these labels are flipped upside down, we see clear evidence that the OCR reader step by itself is not rotation invariant, that is, it sees the dollar sign and the zero and interprets those properly, but the six is being interpreted as a nine. Therefore, you need to present your labels more or less in the way that you train them.